Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us on this episode. Right, okay, well, I've got another uh, smaller car to show you today. And what we've got here, <laughs> see there, is the uh, Whiskey Buggy by Pineco Models. And uh, this came over from China. Now, <laughs> this little car came across completely by accident. Now, I don't usually use websites like Banggood or anything like that, but I was on there just having a, uh, a nosy about because I was looking for um, some like, accessories for one of my crawlers and I thought I'd have a look. Anyway, I went through the list of stuff. Anyway, this popped up and I looked at it. I thought, oh, that looks quite cool. It's like, and it sort of reminded me um, of the uh, Tamiya sort of uh, FAV, the fast attack vehicle, the Tamiya Wild one, which is, if you look at it, the colour screen is very uh, similar to the original one, and also the ho holiday buggy to some extent with the, the wheel arches and whatnot. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. I thought it'd be, uh, it'd be quite cool uh, to get it and uh, show you viewers, you, um, girls and boys at home. So that's what we've got. So I've got that. Now, I've also brought out my actual wild one. Now, incidentally, that's the uh, the Blockhead Motors edition. And this is more looking like the original colour scheme, the black and the red on the wild one. And um, but if you look at the two, you can see there's a lot of uh, influence there with how they've, uh, you know, it's been designed and made to look. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, show you the wild one just to show you. Now, there you go. That's the, uh, the box for it. As you can see, it's called a whiskey buggy there. 1 16th scale. It's actually four wheel drive as well, this. Um, and also, incidentally, if you look on the bo box there, they do a blue type one. So again, they've almost uh, copied the Blockhead Motors uh, livery as well. Now, I'll tell you what did make me laugh. This uh, this vehicle comes with everything you need to get it going, minus 2A batteries. But if you look on the box, <laughs> that cracked me up when I saw that. It comes ready to run. <laughs> How ace is that? Anyway, um, so yeah, that's the box. As I said, you get. I'm going to stand up now because my uh, my knees are going. Um, stand up now. Yeah. So there it is. A bit of a closer picture. Now um, I did a, a few little bit of extra details on it because I was bored. Um, I painted up the the wire mesh uh, grilling on the side. I just coloured up some of the rivets. And I did some detailing on the wheels and the exhaust at the back. Just just messing around, really. Um, and I actually even stuck on a few mini uh, blockhead stickers I had spare as well. Uh, just to kind of personalise it a little bit. Um, so, right. So, as I say, it's four-wheel drive, this, as well. It's got a locked, locked front wheel and it's got an open diff at the back. Um, what else is it? It runs off a little uh, lithium iron uh, 600 milliamp uh, 7.4 volt battery, so it should last a little bit. Now, this isn't going to go super super quick, but it is only a 1 16th scale as well. And also, you know, looking at this as well, it's even got the same sort of suspension configuration. It's got like trailing arm rear and the uh, swing arm front. And uh, what else has he got? It's actually, the, it's, although they're all friction shocks, they are sort of like uh, dual shocks at the rear. Anyway, it's all friction, so it's not going to do much. And I think I've just turned it off. How good is that? Um, Remote-wise, it's... Let's have a look. Let's turn it back on. Oh, God. Hold me a minute. Just... Can't see the lights, sir. Uh, can't see the lights. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we go, it's running now. You decided to uh, shut yourself off for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to put it down, you can see it going in a minute. Um, I'll tell you what, well, this is odd as well. Right, this is obviously that's your remote, the basic remote. Now, if you look inside the, the cab there, when I turn the steering left or right, how weird is that? For some reason, if you look in the cab, you can see the gear shift moving when I turn it left and right. Now, I've never noticed that in a car before. The little gear shift turning and moving back and forwards when you go left and right so i don't know what the idea of that is but <laughs> there you go anyway um 
So yes, I said I got it because it looks a bit like the tan here and I thought it'd be fun to show you. So I'm just going to put it down and we're going to go on here and see what it's like. Now, now the remote on it as well, I should just quickly show you that. Nothing super special, you know, it, it's not like a, I wouldn't say it's like massively, uh, you know, superb on quality, but it's going to do the job. Now you get with it, you get a, st a steering switch to reverse it. High and low speed, that does not work at all. It is the same speed, whatever you press. <laughs> uh, you've got steering trim to ca alter your steering if it's pulling to one side, and you've got your power on and off button. Anyway, uh, let's uh, sort of uh, see it going, shall we? <laughs> I don't know, I think it's kitted quite like this. I mean, actually, if you wanted to, if you really wanted to get one, you, you could add quite a lot of detail to it, I imagine. But yeah, I mean, that, that's as quick as it goes. <laughs> so it's not lightning quick. But uh, it's quite fun to mess around with. Can you imagine if they brought a brushless one out? <laughs> I'm sure you could even do that. I'm sure if you wanted to take it all to pieces, you could put uh, different radio equipment in. I don't see the point, personally, but... But, yeah, no, it's a bit of fun. A bit of something nice to show you. It's actually... I didn't... I thought this might be a little rough, too rough ground for it, but it actually drives on it quite nicely. You know, it obviously it's bouncing around a lot, but... I think it looks quite cool. Yeah, it's pretty easy to drive. Yeah, I've not put a whole battery through it, so I don't know how long it lasts. But I imagine you're going to get maybe 20 minutes out of it, isn't it? Maybe less. I don't know. I've not tried it. <laughs> Well, there you go. So that is the, uh, well, I say, like a 1 16th. Nope. There you go. That is the, the 1 16th Pinecone models. And it's the uh, the Whiskey Buggy. And uh, as I said, uh, very influenced by the uh, those classic Tamiya buggies, such as the FAV, Wild One, and the Holiday Buggy. But yeah. Bit of fun. Hope you liked it. I think it was pretty cool. So uh, I say it's definitely uh, erring to the side of toy grade that one. But yeah, it's cool. Pretty like like that. If you did want to get one, I'll put the link in the description where you can get it. It's on Banggood as well. Uh, I think off the top of my head now the price was about 45, 50 pounds something like that. So uh, there you go. Right. Cheers for checking this one out. Always appreciated. Also, as well, just a reminder, as I think I said on the last couple, we are getting really close now to our 3,000 subscriber mark. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, checking out all our other content and future content. Also, come find us on Andy Robinson RC, our Instagram and Facebook by typing in the same name. Right, I'm going. We've got more stuff coming up very soon on the channel. Look after yourselves. Take care. We'll see you all soon. Bye.